Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today we are going to look at a new feature that recently became available to PowerPoint on the web called Presentation Coach. And as full disclosure, before we jump into this, I work at Microsoft. That's something I have to say for HR purposes. So every video where I talk about Microsoft stuff, you'll hear me say that line. So Presentation Coach, what is it? Why does it matter? Well. So one of the things that I always thought was really interesting is most people, when you ask them what is one of their uh, main fears, if they had to rank all their fears, what would they put down as their top fear? It turns out that most people say public speaking is one of their biggest fears. And guess what number two is? Number two is death. And so more people are scared of public speaking than they are of dying. And one of my favorite lines that Jerry Seinfeld said once is that means that more people would rather be in the casket than delivering the eulogy based on that ordering of fears. So I thought that was, that was pretty funny um, and pretty crazy. Now at work um, at Microsoft, uh, I work as a program manager and in this role, I have to deliver many, many presentations. And so being able to deliver a good presentation is really critical to my career. And when I say deliver a good presentation, what I mean by that is, is your pacing good? Are you speaking too fast? Are you saying too many words at once and it's hard to follow? Or are you speaking too slowly? And when I speak too slowly, people lose interest in my presentation. So the pacing is very important, making sure that you're speaking at a good pace. Another thing that could harm a presentation is if you use too many filler words. So, um, you know, some uh, maybe examples of uh, filler words is when you say, um, when you say, ah, uh, when you say like, those are all filler words. If you use too many of them, it really decreases confidence in what you're saying. Now, of course, when you're normally speaking, there will be some filler words that appear in your talk. But if you insert too many filler words, it really decreases the quality of the presentation. One time I took a presentation course. Now at Microsoft, they want us to present well, especially when I present at different conferences. What Microsoft will do is they actually bring in a presentation coach and the presentation coach will listen to you present. So I've had, I've sat in a conference room me with a presentation coach and then one-on-one -on -one, I'll go through a presentation with the presentation coach. And what's been very interesting is throughout my presentation, the coach will be taking notes or sometimes the presentation coach will even jump in and just give feedback on the spot. I know it sounds, it sounds really terrifying. Uh, it really helps increase the quality of my presentation. And just some examples uh, in the past when I've had a presentation coach come in, I'll use filler words in my talk track and the presentation coach will just clap. And then every time I use a filler word, the presentation coach will clap and that really makes me aware of all the filler words that I'm using. You should try it. It's actually a really nice technique uh, to improve the quality of your presenting. It's been really nice working in a company that's basically paid for a presentation coach to come in, listen to me speak, and then provide feedback on how I'm speaking. It's been extremely valuable. The one downside though is not everyone can take advantage of a presentation coach because a lot of people might not work for a company, maybe you're in school, uh, maybe you have a presentation coming up in school, uh, maybe you have a pitch for a startup that you're working on. There might be all sorts of reasons you might present or maybe you're just standing up in front of your neighbors, a neighborhood party, and you wanna talk about some topic and you wanna do a good job delivering. So wouldn't it be great if everyone could have a presentation coach, their own personal coach? Well, that's where PowerPoint comes in. So PowerPoint on the web recently released something called Rehearse with Presentation Coach. Why don't we jump in and take a look at what it does and uh, let's check it out. Here I am on my PC and what I've done is I've navigated to a website called office.com. Office.com is where we are going to take advantage of Presentation Coach. This is gonna be really awesome. You can take advantage of Presentation Coach entirely for free. It won't cost you anything. Uh, so let's take a look. Uh, so on office.com, you'll see two different options. One of them is get office. The other one is sign in. What we're going to do is we're going to click on sign in. If you already have an account, a Microsoft account, you could just go ahead and log in with that existing account. If you don't have an account, don't worry. You could go ahead and create one and it is entirely free to create an account. I've already done that and I've already logged in. So we're going to jump into uh, the account that I've already logged in with. 
Once you log in, you're going to land on the website office.com and within office.com what you'll see is you have a few different options within here. Um, just as a side note, you can get to your Outlook, OneDrive where you store files in the cloud. You also get Word, Excel, PowerPoint amongst many other apps. Uh, but what we want to do is we want to take a look at the presentation coach. I'm going to click on PowerPoint because presentation coach lives within PowerPoint. I land on the start page of PowerPoint here on the web and you'll see I could create a blank presentation. I have different templates I could uh, start from. But what I've done is I already have a PowerPoint presentation that I've set up. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and click into this one and just open this presentation. What I've done is this is this is just a mock presentation that I created uh, on something called the Kevin Cookie Company. So it's just a made up mock company that I have to test out the PowerPoint uh, presentation coach. So within here, this is Kevin's cookie company. Those cookies in this picture really make me hungry. They look delicious. Okay, so within the uh, PowerPoint uh, on the web, what we're gonna do here is you have all these different tabs on top of the page. What we're gonna do is click on the option that says slideshow. So I'll go ahead and click on this. You'll see a new option in here called Rehearse with Coach. This is gonna be your own personal or private coach that you can rehearse your presentation with. I'm gonna go ahead and let's click on that. And what'll happen is uh, there is a welcome message that appears. And let's just take a look. It says, welcome to PowerPoint Presenter Coach Preview. As you rehearse, we'll give you feedback about how you're presenting. At the end, you'll see a numerical summary and our suggestions. It sounds kind of cool. Um, so what's happened is it looks like my mic is ready. It's going to use my microphone on my computer to evaluate my presentation. Uh, so why don't we go ahead and just click on start rehearsing. Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today we are going to talk about the Kevin Cookie Company and how it's performing in the marketplace. This is a quick picture of our product that we make, these delicious home-baked tasting cookies. Well, let's jump into our performance and we're gonna start with a high-level summary of the business. And where we're gonna start is, well, first off, our sales have increased exponentially. We've never seen this many sales before because, hey, let's face it, customers, let's just, let's face the fact, customers love our products. Cool, it says, keep going, you've got this, that's awesome. Um, what we've done is we have opened locations in the tri-state area. So we have locations in Pennsylvania. We have a new location in New Jersey and also a new location in New York. And all those other blue dots represent all the locations we have. Our company's killing it. We've got so many different locations. What we're going to talk about next is let's jump into now that we've talked about our new locations, why don't we talk about how we performed in Q2 and in Q2, here's a quick snapshot of our performance data, but Hey, sales were fantastic. We're doing great. All right. Well, it looks like the presentation wrapped up here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the presentation. What you'll see up here is I have a rehearsal uh, report. And so within this report, uh, first off, I get a summary and it tells me how much time I spent with my presentation. The presentation was about a minute 16 for four slides. Uh, so close to about 30 seconds or a little under per slide. So not bad. They have another category called originality. And what that means is, did I just simply read the text on the slide or did I uh, say other things? And when you're giving a presentation, you don't want to repeat text on the slide. Ideally, you uh, give original content, uh, you don't repeat. Um, so that's good to see that. I also see my pacing here on the slide, and it looks like my pace was about 137 words per minute. And you want to typically be between 100 and say 165. Um, that's considered a good pace that people can understand. If you go too slow, it'll tell you. If you go too fast, it'll tell you. So it'll really help with the pacing of your delivery. Uh, and down below, it'll show me my average pace over time. So here it shows that I was pretty consistent. Once I got towards the end of the presentation, when I saw the slide automatically advance, uh, it got me a little nervous and so I went a little faster. Um, but that shows me my pacing. Um, they have another category called sensitive phrases. Uh, for example, if you, uh, one example is, let's say that you're talking about a police officer, but you say policemen. Uh, well, that's not gender neutral, so they recommend saying police officer. Uh, it'll listen for words like that and then give you recommendations. And lastly, they also have uh, filler words, so they listen for all the ums, all the ahs, and then this report will tell you if you're using those filler words. So kind of nice to have uh, the computer listen to you and then give feedback on your presentation. 
What's really nice is you can also go in and in this report, they have an option that says learn more. And if you click on any one of those, I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, we'll click on, let's say fillers and I'll click on learn more. And they tell you a little bit of information about why filler words are, uh, you know, how they're perceived, perceived by the audience. Uh, they'll give some recommendations on how to avoid filler uh, words. And then here you could go through and you could read all the different uh, recommendations that they'll make. Uh, so all in all, this is a quick look at Presentation Coach in PowerPoint. Uh, it's a great way to improve the quality of your presentation. I'm fortunate to work at Microsoft where we actually have a Presentation Coach come in and have a real live human give this feedback. Uh, but I've been testing this out and it's actually a really nice way to deliver a presentation and to get quick feedback on what your presentation is like. So if you have a big presentation coming up or you just want to practice, try PowerPoint on the web. You simply go to office.com, uh, log in, it's free, click on PowerPoint and you could start taking advantage of this uh, today. So some really, really nice functionality that you could use entirely for free. Anyway, I hope this video uh, helps improve the content or the quality of your presentations. Uh, if it does, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get notifications anytime new content like this comes out. And if there are any other videos that you want to see me cover in the future, leave a comment down below. Let me know and I'll add it to my list of videos to create. And hey, that's all I had for you today. Hope to see you next time. Bye.